Good evening, everyone. I got five minutes. Are you ready? Okay. I don't even have a story. I'm just going to tell you the word. My title <coughs> is this, Giving for the Tax Incentive. How many here has ever done your taxes? Yes. Turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verse 10. Giving for the tax incentive. I hear all those iPads powering up. <laughs> the pages are turning. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verse 10, it says this. You shall surely give to him, and your heart should not be grieved when you give to him. How many here has ever finished your taxes and was grieved? <laughs> How many has ever <clears throat> not possibly had the best response when you found out what the bottom line was? Well, when you give to him, because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your works and in all which you put your hand. God does not want your money. He wants you. And when he has you, guess what? He can't help but take care of you because you're his. My focus is giving for the benefit or because you love to obey. It's like taking obedience to another step. Well, I'm being obedient because <laughs> if I don't, I'm getting a paddle. I'm obedient because the consequences are pain. Or am I obedient because I simply love to obey? See, really, in all of this, God's looking for your heart. And when he has your heart, you've now become someone he can bless. So we have to move past, well, I pay my tithe because, shoot, have you noticed the blessings you get when you do that? <clears throat> and, and how many say, well, I paid my tithe, but I haven't got all the blessings? Do you understand? This is not a bill. You don't have, they will not shut the lights off if you don't pay the bill you just you don't reap the benefits but sometimes if you just do it to get the benefits i'm not sure if it's actually getting done so it's it's going beyond just being responsible it's going beyond doing the right thing it, it's one thing to say okay god i'm going to follow your instructions i'm going to do what you say but it's another thing, I'll do them when you're not watching. I'll do them when you didn't tell me I had to. Because okay. my heart is to obey. Now we've come to the place where, boy, God actually has our obedience and our heart. A few Proverbs I just want to read. I thought these were good. Proverbs chapter 11 starting with verse 24. There is one who scatters yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. Be The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. The, the people will curse him who withholds grain, but blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. He who troubles in his own house will inherit the wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, 
and he who wins souls is wise. If the righteous will be recompensed on the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. Today, as you purpose in your heart to give, I know tax time is coming up. I have been thinking about what that will all turn out, calculating my 1099s, my W-2s, my ABCs and 123s. But beyond all of that, yeah, there's a benefit to giving, but if I'm giving only for the benefit, do you understand I'm not reaping the whole thing because he doesn't have my heart? If he doesn't have my heart, he can't really bless me because I'm not really his. I mean, I might get some benefits. I might pick up some deductions. But God goes way beyond that. So, I know you're probably not giving for the tax right off. How many here are just does the schedule, you know, you just do the standardized deduction and it takes care of everything and check, you're done, right? But beyond giving for benefits, remember we're really doing this to show him where our heart is. And when he has our heart, now he has the right to do something in our life. I want God to have the right to bless me. Because him having the right to do what he wants to do in my life, which is bless me, goes beyond the benefit, goes beyond the deduction. Father, I thank you tonight for your word. I thank you that we choose today. We choose to obey your word, to follow your instructions when it comes to the things we've learned about giving so that we might show you that you have our heart, that we simply love to obey your instruction and your word. We give you praise for that.